Hello uh, iPad fans. Uh, my name is Carl Brooks. I'm with TechLoyal.com and also uh, I have a new website. I am therefore iPad.com and I want to share with you a couple of things here today. Uh, as you can see on my screen, on the regular monitor screen there, it's displaying exactly what I have on my uh, iPad here. Okay. And I'm going to allow you to leave some things to imagine that to your imagination. But obviously, whatever is displayed on the iPad will display on the big screen. And that's thanks to a 99-cent jailbreak application called Display Out. Okay? So Display Out allows you to display out anything. Now, I have noticed with a game like... Pac-Man, some of the ghosts get a little jerky on display out. You know, but it doesn't really uh, take too much away from the game itself. Uh, and it could, because, you know, you wouldn't be able to display that application, your email, your uh, web browsing type stuff on the screen normally with, with the Adapter. I have the VGA to iPad adapter here that you can buy for about 30 bucks at uh, the Apple Store or Best Buy. Uh, but with without a product like Display Out, you simply the only thing that you can display from your iPad is uh, certain things like PowerPoint presentations or uh, videos uh, that you project. So Display Out allows you to do that. Uh, I also have this program called um, SBS uh, SB Settings, which gives you a nice little interface here. Uh, and you see the green box up on top. That's the display out. I can press that button. And I'm going to press it on my iPad. And you see that turned off that display. So now, only thing that's displaying is the iPad. I hit that button again. And it'll once again display out whatever's on my screen. Real simple program, 99 cent. Uh, definitely worth it if you are if you have a jailbroken iPad. Uh, and so, you can display on, on your computer, projector, whatever has a VGA cable. Okay? I want to show you another program and then we'll just show you on the big screen here. Got a couple other programs here. Uh, let me just jump back to the beginning. And the first one you see is called Keyboard. It's, called, it's actually called BT Stack for Bluetooth Stack. BT Stack Keyboard. And the next one right next to it is BT Stack uh, Mouse. The mouse is free. The keyboard is $5. Uh, what those two applications do is allow you to, to use, say, like a Bluetooth mouse like here to be used with your iPad. So what I'll do is I'll click on the iPad, uh, I'm sorry, the mouse icon. Yeah, look like I held it too long. It's jiggling. Hit the mouse. It brings up this program and it says activating the stack. It's searching for a device. I'm going to push this little button on my mouse here to have that thing appear. should come up on a list here. Oh, i got to turn it on. So I hit the switch to turn that on. Hit the little button, and now it says Bluetooth mouse there. Just taking word on it. Bluetooth mouse, if you can't see it. And I just hit that on the screen. It's connecting, and now it's connected. Only option it tells you there is you get to disconnect. And we don't want to disconnect yet, so we'll just exit out of that. And now, you see the mouse cursor. Kind of hard to see. You can see it both on the iPad. Uh, kind of hard to see with this. It's a black mouse up here. Let's see if we can see it. It's next to the AG. See that AG by the Bank of America. And so we'll we'll open up, say, the browser program. So I just click on it with my mouse. What's nice is when I click on the right button on the mouse, they'll take exit out of whatever program I'm in. So I'm in the browser program, I hit the right button, it brings me back to the menu. 
okay the obviously the left button is for clicking so I'll go and find the ABC player uh, see that ABC player mouse moving around around it click on that brings up that program and let's just play anything Again, I'm controlling this strictly with the mouse it'll load up that that uh, application okay and you can see the mouse moving around a little better with that black screen there so the mouse is moving around on both the iPad and the screen because it's displaying out what's on the iPad okay so you as you you may have seen I'm getting this iPad to look more like an i uh, a desktop here by the moment and we're not gonna wait for that ABC application to come up we'll just hit the right button and now exit out now what the middle roller button that you have now if you want to flick through the screens you just click and flick uh -oh. click and flick on the screen to get to your other applications okay no big deal this center button what that does is shut down your uh, you know turn off or put in sleep mode your iPad so I'm gonna hit this button and watch what it does see that so put it in sleep mode and so if I hit the button to wake back up there's a, there's a slider screen and I have to use my mouse to slide to open it up so so those three buttons are the function of that mouse so now we want to get keyboard capabilities so I'll jump back to the main screen slide over one screen to keyboard now you see now the mouse has a little on telling me that the mouse is on the keyboard doesn't have that on uh, icon there and so I'll click that application and it's searching for the Bluetooth now this Bluetooth keyboard I have to open the back to put it in discover mode I'll hit the little red button here it shows up on the screen now uh, and I just simply click that I can do it with the mouse and now the keyboard is ready so we'll exit out just hit the right button and now you see on the keyboard and the mouse they're both on so if I pulled up an application like the mail program I can type with the keyboard so if I open this guy up and you can see up on the screen I'll just type anything just so you see so you see the keyboard is working with the Bluetooth keyboard okay so now you have a mouse a keyboard and the monitor all working with your iPod I'm sorry your iPad so iPad now can work as just like a desktop so the, the, the labor intensive type of typing now this little keyboard I have here is a portable guy you know you obviously wouldn't want that for a desktop uh, set up you want a full keyboard otherwise you you know you might as well use what's on the screen with something this little but but you see those those clearly work now the Bluetooth mouse one doesn't work with the uh, the built-in because you might be asking why won't why wouldn't you just use the built-in Bluetooth keyboard capability that the iPad has well it would not work with the with the um, mouse so in order to get the mouse and the keyboard to both to work you have to have both those stacks so it's five bucks for that second one and you'll notice in the settings even though this Bluetooth mouse and this Bluetooth um, mouse and keyboard is working Bluetooth indicated on the iPad is off because it's not using that Bluetooth um, functionality of the OS is using those two BT stack programs that you saw at the these two uh, jailbroken applications so there you go keyboard monitor and mouse all working with your iPad Apple iPad